We all know the cliche, bigger is better, but what about when you have to wrap it? Hi, I'm Lisa Birnbach from Houdini.com. Rod Martinez is here from Papyrus, the high-end stationery gift wrap store, and he will show us how to wrap something this big. There's a trick to it, okay. and I'm going to show you. Great. So what we are going to want to do first is we're going to want to wrap, wrap the sides, and then we're basically going to put a top and a bottom to it. Okay? Oh, okay. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So let's lift this up just a little out of the way here so we can start with putting our paper down. Now we're going to just bring it right back down on the paper. Okay. Great. Thanks for your help. Sure. Okay. So now we're going to wrap this up and over. What I'm going to do is cut this to meat. And you can use your roll here as your guide. So I'm just cutting, cutting close to the roll. So what we're going to do now is we want to stretch it out a little, make sure that it's nice and tight. Bring this up. Oh. And what you're going to do is you're going to crease it once. We're going to bring it back down. And where that crease was, we're just going to bend, bend it down a little. Again, because it looks we're a little bit more it. finished. It looks more tailored. Yes, it does. Right now, I'm just using regular tape just to keep the flap down. Because there's so much paper to deal with. There is. Now, we're going to use our friend the double-sided tape. Yes. And there we go. Now, we're bringing it back up. Okay. You saw how we creased it up at the top, so now yeah, it's going it to meet. Nice. Right at the edge there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the edges here nice and clean. So just the same way you do a large gift, you're going to want to do the smaller one like this. Just going to fold in the ends. All right. So and what we can do, do is just use regular tape if you want. Uh-huh. Make it nice and easy. Now we're going to do the bottom. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay. Now what? I'm going to show you how easily to do the top and the bottom to this, okay? Mm-hmm. So, all right. We're going to bring this over. Make sure that we're going to cover completely. Bring this up. And again, use that as your guide. I'm going to cut this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to crease it here and we're going to fold it, fold it down. Oh, Again, I see. see how my cut wasn't so straight, but by right. doing this, you're making it nice and neat. Now go ahead and put some double-sided tape there if you don't mind. Okay. And one last piece right okay. here. I lied. One last piece right here. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to bring this up. Put it right at the edge. Oh my. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm just going to flip this over. Ooh. Easy for me to say. All right. So we're going to crease that again. You like that double-sided tape now, don't you? Well, I'm less afraid of it. So now we're just going to come up with it. Nice top there. What you could do with the edges, you could either just bring it down, or what I would like to do, is fold this in, fold this in. Oh my. And make a nice. That is fancy. It is. It's a little harder to work with, but it's well worth it. Oh my gosh, look, you even met the design. That's beautiful. Wow. And so people trying this at home for the first time should give themselves a lot of time. Don't do this five minutes before the Christmas party. You shouldn't. Give yourself a little bit of time. Well, this is extraordinary. Thank you. And if there were a prize given to beautiful wrapping jobs, you should get it. Yes. What about the other side? You well, do the, the other same side, thing? Well, the other side, you would just do the same thing to it, and it looked beautiful. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Rod. You're welcome. Thank For Houdini.com, I'm Lisa Birnbach.